Dublin. How are you, Davy? Good, good to see you. Good to have you. Our usual annual video at this time of year. That's right. More than welcome any time. Good start with the four-year-olds. Um, Idaho Valley who won a couple of weeks ago in Tallow. He was an impressive winner and um, of course the Stallion as well. It's a good start for him. Yeah, sure. Listen, we have a couple of Idahos here. I'm sure here he's the, the first one we ran in. Sure, here. He done, he done exactly what we thought his homework would allow him to do, to be fair. So looks looks nice horse. The reports seem to be good on the Stallion of, of, of stock what's on the ground with four-year-olds with point-to-point -point handlers. Yeah, um, listen, talking to a few of the local lads there as well, everyone seems to have one or two of them and there's no one actually giving out of them, so as I say, I have two of them here, another one to go in a couple of weeks and I like him also. Nice horse as well that you ran on Saturday in Old Town, he finished third, only beaten four lengths, I give the orders, son of Order of St George, Correct, yeah. um, you like this horse don't you? I do indeed, yeah, um, here, Order of St George, first season sire to be fair as well, listen, only the one in the yard. And sure here, liked him before we went and good simple straight hard forward horse to train to train to be fair good attitude so wouldn't mind getting another couple of them if they came along too you know another horse stallion who's made a good start and the report seems to be very strong about him as well exactly yeah yeah no there's plenty plenty of local lads have him as well and there's actually no one giving out of him at the moment so that's positive uh stars and horse who was second yesterday only beating a length and knocking yards by uh derek o'connor and jp mcmanus the winner Looks a very, very smart type, but your lad does too, doesn't he? Yeah, listen, we were going down there again, Davy, with a very nice horse in our hands. Um, sure, listen, th th these four year old maidens, as you can see yourself, listen, they're, they're very, very strong at the moment. Listen, there was a there was even a full brother of Alaho in the in the maiden, he finished third. Um, lovely run as well, looked a nice horse as well. Listen, JP McManus and Derek together, sure, listen, they're a, they're an unbelievable team and to be fair to Derek he's doing a, an amazing job with them pointers and t 10 out of 10 for, for the way the horses are being turned out with the man to be yeah, fair and, and he won in Old Town as well the four year old maiden to be fair yeah because he's gone Bell Harbour Old Town right. and Knockinard now so I think that's his third, <laughs> his third four year old there and not easy to compete is it no it's not to be fair but listen that's that's what you're dealing with every every Sunday you go out you know but I know you really fancied this horse yesterday going to Knockinard so obviously you're there to win you want to win but when you do get beaten it surely you can take plenty of positives out of splitting those two good horses sure listen going down there listen it's a good track listen there's a lot of good horses at the coming out of that track you know you, you know you're going to be pumping into good horses and sure to be fair there's good horses that are coming out like that track so you know going down with a nice horse you know you you're hoping that you're going to win or be you know there thereabouts and hopefully put all your homework together you know when you do take take part but as i say we had a nice horse going down but listen we we came out on the, the wrong side of it but sure here as i say second is better than second last of course as you mentioned but knocking out the track horses to come out of it Two very talented horses that have come out of there are Fernie Hollow and Captain Teague of Paul Nichols. Correct, yeah. So listen, that, that just shows the caliber horse to do a, a peer blow at that um, that me in in Knockinard, you know. Um, tell us about that horse just a second though. A little bit more on him, uh, Stars. And w w what do you hope to do with him now? He, he's a son of Harzan. Um, same same as the the previous two we've mentioned there. Um, listen, uh, only the one of them in the yard. Um, fine noble horse came over Derby Sale. He, I'd say, standing 17 hands or that, a uh, big horse, and to be fair, a sire that I wouldn't mind maybe getting another couple of metre, good attitude, horse jumps and gallops, but I'd say in the future he's definitely going to be a staying chaser, but this one has a bit of class about him as well, could be a bumper horse, believe it or not, for the size of him, but a, a fine horse. Um, for the last couple of years, you've all, you, you've put your head on the chopping block for me, and oh, give me God. a horse, and the one we just seen Dylan leading away there now, a mare by Bucks Boom called Magic Boom. Correct, yeah. Runs this weekend in Lisrona on Sunday. That's right. There's there's two mares this weekend there, and she'll listen. She'll take an entry into Tobin, but we're sort of maybe thinking about Lisrona as the plan. Yeah, to be fair, uh, as you say, by uh, Bucks Boom, sure. Listen, um, sire of a jewel cup, jewel gold cup winner, um, and that. So, sire probably don't need much introduction to be fair, but this a uh, this a smart mare now. To be fair, when you are asking me to put one, <laughs> one to you, so yeah, I think she's very, very special this mare now. To be fair, so she'll hopefully get entered in the morning and um, head to the Toronto there for the weekend. You'd be expecting um, to be in the number one spot then on, on Sunday then. Well, listen, as you say there, listen, it's, it's brilliant that you dropped in there. And sure, to be fair, it's it's 
it's it's lovely there now to be just you know starting to, to run them four year olds and the way they're running at the moment. Um, her homework, listen, would be every bit as good as them three gildens that have that have ran quite smart there in the last uh, couple of weeks. And like, listen, you know yourself. You, as I say earlier, you just don't know what you're bumping into every weekend. But it'll take a very smart mare to beat this mare. I think personally myself. So okay. if you have a, if you have a fifty floating around of a Saturday there, Sunday, Sunday on, come on down there. I say you might get a, a run for your money. Magic boom. Magic boom. Well named. Well named, yeah, to be fair. So um, you can't take the credit for that, obviously. She was named. No, she already was named in France, her, exactly. And she came from the Derby sale? She came out of the Derby sale as well. Um actually came off a local consignment there, um Rat Thornton, Dennis Cummins and Jordan and Luke. They're they're above there in Clen Roach. They're, they're they local enough. They do a great job and uh, love buying horses often to be fair. They, they, they you know they they turn them out well and to be fair, they're um they're, they're good. They're good. They're good people to source them horses. To be fair, you moved plenty of horses last year. At w. Um, a few of them have gone on to do decent enough things on the track already in a short space of time. I suppose the one that stands out for me is the Enabler. He looks a very exciting horse, and I know he's one of those that falls under that. Uh, uh, you know. What, what he does in bumpers and hurdles is all as a bonus because she's yeah. a big type, but uh, yeah. he has been very impressive, hasn't he? Actually, he has, Davy. Like, it's listen to be fair, very big horse as well. I'd say touching 17 hands, um, like you wouldn't be you know saying that he would be a bumper horse. So, what he has achieved in bumpers is probably a bonus because I'd say when he gets a fence and a trip, we'll be seeing we'll be seeing the true him now, to be fair. But jumps quite well, tall horse, but yeah, it's it's nice to see what he has done so far. and Listen, he's he's one to fly the flag for Baltimore. And the horse, uh, I do apologise, his name escapes me, by Ask, that one for you last year as well, who's moved on to England. Oh, that's right, yeah. Um, the jukebox man. Um, that's him. Yeah, Ben Pauling has him there. He was actually third in the, the grade one cello. Um, to be fair, I haven't been talking to Ben lately, but looks a, looks an exciting sort as well. Won his point there in Tortola first there in the fall last year. So he's another one that's... Uh, Taking all the boxes there at the moment as well. So every year, always trying to restock new horses and then sell them on. But you're always, you're a man who always likes to add on to the facilities too. And um, the gallop is under a bit of construction here now. You've added on a new circular, uh, yeah, uh, linked on to the straight gallop as well. So nice gallop, isn't it? Yeah. Listen, to be fair, listen, the three furlongs a grand straightforward simple gallop. To be fair, and sure, listen, we were lucky enough to have the the beach for maybe listen a little bit more core work which with the circle now that that the beach work will just probably you know be you know with the numbers it's hard to get to the beach there you know once or twice there before the run which is listen it's a way i used to just do it and horses are fresh after the water they love to get to walk in the water but by putting in the circle there now um it's listen it's a it's a nice um addition to the yard there to be fair so yeah big bonus as well having the beach so close to you it's ideal, listen, I love the beach there to be fair, listen, if you run of a Sunday there and you get a little, you know, scratch or a bang, it's ideal to go down and for a stroll there for the, the, the salt water, it's, 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 um, listen, it's a massive help to, to train them horses to be fair. W, thanks for having me again, um, very best of luck on Sunday. Thanks David. Please yeah. God I'll yeah. be down yeah, there yeah, and sure. As uh, I say, bring hopefully on, bring magic, on a 50. <laughs> ma hopefully Magic Boom does what you think she'll do. Hopefully, yeah, fingers crossed and thanks for coming again Davey.